About one in eight women are diagnosed with breast cancer, and some doctors say more of those women are receiving the life-changing news at an even younger age. Our Sydney Stallworth introduces us to one St. Charles woman who's in treatment for breast cancer, and she's decades younger than most patients. I thought, well, how much time do I have with my kids? What does this mean for my future? Um, and what do we do from here? Brittany Peterson was diagnosed with an aggressive form of breast cancer in January. She's just 30 years old. She was breastfeeding the youngest of her three kids when she felt a lump. I had had clogged milk ducts before, and I just really assumed that that's the issue that was happening. And so um, I waited for it to clear up and it didn't clear up. The lump started to grow. My tumor was about three and a half centimeters by three and a half centimeters. So that's considered very large. And um, it's just incredible how quickly it grew. And um, I knew it was time to get checked out. So she made a trip to a specialist. The same trip radiologist Dr. Debbie Bennett says she's seeing more young women make lately. So most of our patients that are diagnosed with breast cancer are typically between, you know, 50 and 80 and are women, but it can affect anybody. So men can be diagnosed with breast cancer and we feel like we're seeing breast cancer at an earlier age too. So we're seeing women come in in their 30s, sometimes even in their 20s that feel a lump. And for the most part, almost all of those women are fine, but sometimes they're not. Dr. Bennett says breakthroughs in treatment options have opened more doors for women like Brittany. The treatments these days are so much better than they used to be. There's a lot of hope. There's reason to be hopeful for everyone. Brittany's high hopes began to fall during her first rounds of chemo. I couldn't eat. I was, I was sick a lot and I think there were many times where my husband and I just didn't know if I was going to make it to the end of that chemo uh, regimen. But she did make it. I got to ring the bell and um, that was a good day. But bad days were just beyond the horizon. She had a double mastectomy, developed an infection because her immune system was so weak after surgery and had to have another surgery on her chest. Then Brittany caught COVID. And that was a hard one for sure. She says her doctors are treating the cancer aggressively. I am about a week out from being finished with radiation. I'm doing chemotherapy until September of next year. Um, and then in the middle of all of that, I do still have a couple reconstruction surgeries left. The treatments are draining, but it's Marshall. Marshall. There are three little ones and a loving husband. Brittany says bring her smile back each day. I was putting my five year old to bed and he said, Mommy, why is the night longer than the day? And I I just got tears in my eyes and it was it was like an aha moment for me that I was able to tell him, baby, actually the night is not longer than the day. The day is longer than the night and the sun will come up and we have hope for the morning. And this home is overflowing with hope. In the moments where it feels like life is falling apart, my husband has just held me up. And um, all I need is to see my kids smiles and um, that gives me that encouragement to keep going. Sydney Stallworth, five on your side. Wow, an amazing story. Brittany says she has just one regret, waiting for the lump in her breast to clear before speaking with a doctor. So she encourages you, if you see a change in your body, go see a professional right away.